Hey everybody, this is the Nintendo fan. Welcome back to more Super Metroid. In the last episode, we set course to the series space station after finding about finding out that the Metroid lava has been taken. And now we're now we set course here and in the planet Zadis. Where we have to hunt down the space pirates that took the Metroid larva. And in this episode, now that, we, now that we've got more power-ups, let's let's get out of this area. And to use the bomb soon, you gotta more, go into morph ball mode, then hit the X button, and that's how you do it. Now Samus will actually jump a little bit soon. Ooh, that was a close one. There we go. And now that we have the more ball bombs, we actually have more areas to access. For starters, this room right here. There we go. And we get more missiles. Now there are actually a lot of a missile expansion sit throughout this game. And, as well as energy tanks. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a hundred percent playthrough of this. Especially since you don't need everything to complete this game. Ooh, whoa. Watch out for these. Uh-oh. And what you want to do is use the bomb on these walls. Proceed. And we rock, walked right into an enemy. There we go. And this is a, and here we have another energy tank. Now this one is intended to be the first one you collect. Of course, we did some sequence breaking, where we weren't supposed to get the our real for our first one until much later. But, we got some space pirates here. As you can see, we can't hurt, hurt it with our laser. So, use missiles on them. And they only need one... It only requires one missile to take them out. Oops, didn't mean to pause. I was trying to hit the select button. Now, don't worry about that red door. That's not important for later. Not important till later, I should say. But you gotta shoot this thing here. It'll actually shoot and spawn some little enemies. Now these crawling enemies on those mushrooms, we can't hurt them. But let's go through this door and down this elevator. Welcome to the the upper area of the new Brinstar. And we got some missile doors. And let's can take these enemies out. More bomb. That's kind of hard to tell. Uh, which ones you can uh, go, which uh, walls you can go through. But, go through there. We get another map. Very nice. So let's get back up. And as long as you stay over here, that that jumping enemy won't hurt you. 
And now that we've destroyed all the enemies, we can actually get out. And another save room. Now it looks like we can actually go through, go underneath here, but it requires an another item to use. So keep that in mind. And we got these uh, firefly-like creatures. You can actually shoot them, but it will make the uh, room more dim. So try to be careful. And by going through here, we have a missile reload station. Very nice. Now you can, you can also find a en energy recharge stations too. Now let's be careful. Now even if you touch these enemies, they will be destroyed and the room will get darker like I said. Uh-oh. And we can bypass it. And we gotta use bombs on this. Very nice. And don't worry about those blocks yet. And yeah, these enemies right here, we actually can't shoot. So let's just get run from them. Now, something about Super Metroid you can do is, if I can do it right, wall jumping. And these pipes here, that look like they're from Mario, they will actually keep spawning enemies. Which you can keep shooting to restock on energy and ammo. Very nice. And we got another enemy. Okay. Now, you guys are familiar with randomizers, aren't you? Oh, here's a randomizer though, that you might enjoy. It's actually the one that it combines a Legend of this game with Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. So you can find like two <laughs> Zelda items in the Metroid game and Metroid items in Zelda. And that's actually pretty creative. Let's go through this door. And we got flying space pirates. Right. They're all over me. Oh, we took more damage than we should have. And let's see if I can get some more energy. I believe up ahead is the boss. Eh. Oh, we can't proceed. Eh, I'll just fight the boss as I am. Let's go up here. Do these. Meet Spore Spawn. 
This one's a kind of a boring fight. It's a fan least favorite. <laughs> the boss. And once it opens its mouth a little bit, <laughs> just shoot it with a missile. Or you're a laser, which <laughs> missiles obviously do more damage. Let's see. And it's getting darker. Now you can actually shoot those uh, spores so that it, well, spawns. And you can get missiles or health. And I can't shoot it from where I was. And as you can see, the heads are getting faster. Now you can actually buy- I have actually seen a YouTuber uh, bypass this boss. <laughs> using clever of- uh, <laughs> Using a clever tactic. Alright. Getting faster. Oops, I'm shooting missiles! I should be conserving them. Alright, now. Oh, it's getting faster! Oh, I keep shooting my- firing my missiles! Okay. Jeez, it's getting faster! Ooh, we would have been dead had it not been for that extra energy tank. Actually, you can actually uh, avoid the attack <laughs> keep, keep by being in morph ball mode. And with that, we defeated Spore Spawn. And this room decays, and you can use the head as a platform. Huh, let's go up. Actually, let's... Uh, Deactivate our missiles. Go through here. And we got a little uh, respawning pot. Enemy respawning pot. Let's take advantage of that and recharge our health. There we go. So let's go down this one. That's quite a fall. Okay. Hit this and we get super missiles. Which obviously does a lot more damage than the regular missiles. And to select them, you gotta hit select twice. And if you want to go back, you can actually hit the uh, Y button to go back <laughs> to the laser <laughs> setting. Now these things will actually open up uh, green doors. It only requires one. In fact, I'll show it to you. And it also causes an earthquake, so any uh, enemies in the ceiling will actually drop down on you. Let's use this. And, and it requires a super missile. Oops. There we go. And you do want to conserve those, because I believe those are a lot more rare than the regular missiles. And speaking of missiles, we got another expansion. I think I want to go back up. Let's do a wall jump. Now these uh, orange doors we can't do anything with yet. But keep those in mind. Let's shoot this. Ugh.
Now what you can do, if I can do it right. As you can see, there's a missile expansion here. Almost. There we go. A little more sequence breaking. Because we're actually intended to use, do something about these, uh, Fill up screwdriver heads. <laughs> Headed uh, tiles. And we can't do anything over there. The, the one way we can get out. Do the same thing before. Ball jump. Alright. Now let's go down here. Or the charge beam. Now this one's pretty much equivalent to a mi the damage is pretty much equivalent to a missile. Just pull down the X button and pop, fire away. And and by those Chozo statues, you'll actually find some uh, secrets, but we don't have access to them yet. And let's use a bomb to jump up a little bit as the morph ball. And unlock this door with the super missile. And we got another uh, orange door, but we can't do anything with yet. And I think we can do more sequence breaking. Like that. For another missile expansion. So already we have uh, up to 30 missiles. And, and five super missiles capacity. That's imp that's impressive. And nothing else over here. And we got a super missile from that enemy. Egg. There we go. Get another super missile. More health. Get amber. Oh wow. Now you see this uh, gate right here? The only way to open it is this. It's a shooter, shooter laser from that side. And it will close over time. And now that we're on the other side, if this were to close, we can't go back. Let's go here. And we got a plant monster that'll shoot a spikes out, horns at us. Shoot these. Is there anything underneath? Oh. Nothing. Now you want to be quick about this. So, hold down the B button. And we made it across. And let's open this. And here we are in the lo lower area of Friend Star. And I love the music here, by the way. But, I think I'm gonna end things off here. We took down Spore Spawn. <laughs> we got some more power-ups. And next time on Super Metroid, we're gonna explore the lower areas of Pinstar. See you guys then.